New study shows delaying the second dose of the Pfizer vaccine actually improves the immune response. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth on whether this could reshape our vaccine schedule. Amid the vaccine shortages earlier this year, millions of Americans experienced a second dose delay, like Susan and Michael Atkinson of Carlsbad. We just had change after change. We ultimately had about four cancellations of, of our appointments. They wound up having to wait more than six weeks to get their second dose. Now, new research on the Pfizer vaccine suggests an even longer wait may have benefits. Scientists in the UK looked at a group of people aged 80 and up, and they found those who got their second dose 12 weeks out instead of the standard three weeks produced three and a half times more virus fighting antibodies. La Jolla Institute for Immunology professor Dr. Shane Crotty says he's observed this phenomenon with other vaccines. After that first immunization, your immune system is essentially still learning uh, about the target for, for quite a while, and it's not, it's not done learning at three weeks, it's not done learning at five weeks. By learning, he means the white blood cells that make antibodies actually evolve when they see a virus, and that takes time. And so then if you come back with a second immunization later, you take more advantage of, of that learning. There were similar findings in AstraZeneca's clinical trial. People who waited 12 weeks for the second dose produced twice as many antibodies, and the vaccine's effectiveness jumped from 55% to 81%. That data was one reason why several countries widened the gap between doses so they could vaccinate more people. So should the U.S. do the same? As it is right now, the responses to these vaccines are phenomenal. Don't. Don't, don't mess with what's working unless you have to. Dr. Crotty says if you dig into the Pfizer study on older people, you find these delays also have drawbacks. The antibody response is a bit better, um, and the T-cell response was equivalently worse. T-cells play a role in immune memory, so delaying the dose might result in protection that doesn't last as long. And he says older people just aren't as well protected during that gap when they've gotten just one shot. Particularly against variants. You actually do not have good antibody responses against the variants after, after one immunization. For all those reasons, he thinks the U.S. should not change its recommendations and people shouldn't try to game the system. But he says the study should be reassuring for people like Michael and Susan, who experienced a delay that was out of their control. Derek Stahl. ABC 10 News.